I am back with a tutorial. This is Suzanne, a creative muse, and I'm doing a tutorial on the pencil case die from Becky Cat, designed by Nicole Silhouette. All right, so we're gonna make this pencil case. This was the first one I made. It was okay. You know, put a little twi twine on it and all this stuff. And then I made this one second. You can tell I like this die, right? And then I made this one third, the Halloween one. And I put these two in the product share, or project share, project share, I should say. And I didn't put this one. This one I'm not madly in love with, but it's still okay. Alrighty, so let's get started. So first, let me go over the die once more. This is the most important piece, and you need to cut two of the base piece to make the body of the pencil case. Now these two things, I was wondering what it what it was. So I watched Nicole's video. This is a tassel, a tassel attachment. Like you would put it, you'd cut two pieces and then um, stick it like, like so, cut and then attach a tassel. Like I guess to hang it off. I I didn't use this, to be honest with you, but it's there as a tassel piece. This is the top of the pencil, you know where the lead is. And then this is a decorative piece here for the body of the pencil. This is without the little, the little edge like that. So you have two options. And um, she said this, is, this little border makes it feminine. And this little border makes it masculine. So let me bring those up to you so you can see. If you wanted to do a masculine pencil or a feminine pencil. I took it more like, you know... This, this this one is more like if you want a real pencil. <laughs> this one is more like if you want to do a your own decorative pencil. Or in some cases, I use both together. Why not? And then this is the bottom, the little stopper for the treat. So the pencil box treat die. Alrighty, so I had to go get a real pencil. <laughs> and what I wanted to show you was this, this die piece makes up... I'm like trying to film this properly. This part of the pencil. That's why she put that little curve there. It took, I, had, I tell you, I had to get out a real pencil and go, what is that? And like, I haven't seen a pencil before in my life, right? <laughs> it's so funny. And then, this is so blurry. Oh my goodness. And then this part here, the, the butt, this back part is this die with the stitching, which I think is just brilliant. Really, really cool. Really, really So cool. let's get to it. This time I decided to make a birthday pencil treat box. And please stay focused, little camera, stay focused. Alrighty, let me get, um, to start off with, you're gonna need, you can use wet glue, but I like my eighth of an inch score tape. Um, you can use, you know, the, oh gosh, Suk Wang. <laughs> I'll, I'll link it below, but that's a typical brand for score tape. Or you can use um, scrapbook.com, but it has to be eighth of an inch. And so when you, now this time, I had told you before that I had run it through with the 65-pound um, cardstock, which is just regular run-of-the-mill cardstock. And um, I did it thinner because this does have score lines, but for this one, for this example... You guys are going to see me try it with basil, which is an 80 pound cardstock. So, you know, here you can see the score lines. There they are. You know, you'll get a deeper impression with a thinner paper. But I just wanted to see how the body of the pencil reacts with, um, you know, it should react good. I wouldn't do it with 110 pound, but, you know, maybe I'll try it one day. Then again, maybe not. <laughs> Oh goodness, I hope everybody's enjoying your Friday. All right, so it's the, so what I do is, um, you're gonna do it here on these three edges. Let me make sure that I'm nice and focused on these three edges and I don't have my little cutter piece. Where's my little cutter piece? Oh yes, I do have my little cutter piece. My little quilty ruler that I found at Hobby Lobby. So you're gonna do, oops. Now, if my eighth of an hatch, eighth and a half inch roll looks all beat up, it's because 
this this roll of tape I've had it for years it, it takes a while to use actually I use a um, quarter inch is what I use most of the time then next in line would be the 3 8 inch for you know um, mini albums quarter of an inch for making cards 3 8 inch for mini albums and a quarter inch for mini albums and then I also have higher and higher I go all the way up to um, five inches and six inches all right so oh I should have left left one off so you want to put it on five because when this thing when when this thing takes shape it's harder to hold it down with the score tape you'll see I use wet glue on one and the same thing with this piece all right so we're gonna start off here just follow the score line uh, let me and here again follow the score line and let me get my Teflon bone folder comes in handy for these type of things okay see the difference right there Teflon bone folder using my hand it's still folded but look how crisp it is there so you know, if there's one tool you can treat yourself with, would be this. Along with a good trimmer, decent trimmer, good scissors, good adhesive. Yes, <laughs> it, it never changes. It never changes. And then you want to fold the tops. Kind of, you know, kind of train the paper per se. And then we were also going to fold in these little um, edges here. And then this part, this is where I was worried about the paper being so thick. All right, so take your time so you don't, you know, overfold or misfold it. So here now, you would think it would hold, hold a quarter inch, but it's still going to be the eighth of an inch. And then up here, same thing. You got to kind of gently... And I mean, she designed this, this um, pencil case so well because it does really come together and it does hold up, as you can see by the samples that I showed you. And what a nice gift, like, you know, Halloween is coming up if you wanted to make some Halloween ones. Or um, here, we're also going to fold the bottom. And um, Thanksgiving. If you want to make it you know if you have a kids table and you want to put one at each um place at the table if you have you know certain family coming over and you know the kids have their kids table you could make the box and put little treats in it or put you know put a pencil <laughs> some colored um crayons and some pencils and stuff like that and give them a little coloring book or something This part all right now when I did this the first time I didn't even use a bone folder I used my fingers but because I'm using this thicker paper yeah this this helps and this is a slit that helps when you're closing right there yeah so it'll always be there just you know don't think about it <laughs> you don't have to seal it or anything and then we also fold the bottom gently. All right. So this is your this is your base, and how I did it. And if you find a, a easier way, please tell me. But I made so far three of them, and from the first one to this now number four, I think I got a good a good grasp of how to do it. It's it's something that you'll make it, and I guess if you make like you know. By number four or five, you start to, you know, pick up the speed and you're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's one of those, those type of projects. Ah, I shouldn't have put the tape here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have put the tape there. So I'm going to leave my boo-boo in so you can see it. So what you want to do is... Line up the top and the bottom right there at that score line. Can you see? Let me see if you can see right there. So don't go over the score line, but on the score line. And 
I'm gonna take off this last one here because you wanna leave one end open. And of course I put that, that eighth of an inch on the open end. This is the good thing about using basil. See how I roll, rolled that adhesive off? It tore the paper a little bit, not much. We had used um, thinner paper. Oh, you would have probably been like, oh no, I have to start over again, or it'll rip the paper, because the more you keep messing with it, the paper, sometimes it gets, it gets thinner and thinner. That's just from my experience of making mini albums. Here we are. We have the whole piece coming up here. And now I'm going to put it together. So you're going to take this piece. Oh, I need to see it. Hold on. And you're going to kind of just line it up like that. And you see how it creates the point? And you don't have to be perfect, but you don't want to be too far off. Now let me take off these. So it's the same thing again. Coming up again. Let me show you closer. Right there. And this is me standing up doing it. Just to get the camera to focus. Okay, one more time. So you see, I'm not going over, I'm not going under, I'm going right there. But you see, because the scores are there and it's so nicely done, look at that. Look how clean that is. Can you see it? See how clean that is? And the good thing is, even if you don't do it, you know, completely straight, you can still save this by this part. This is like the most important part. <laughs> It is literally the cherry on top that holds the whole thing together in a, in a good way. All right, so let me come here. I'm sitting back down now. And then, so these are all my little eighth inch pieces. I wanna make sure that I'm focused. I don't know, my, my phone has been acting, you know, the other day it was like doing really good with the focus. Now all of a sudden it wants to be like, I wanna go out of focus, I don't care. I wanna be out of focus. As if my phone can talk to me. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Now the reason why I did not put, see how it's now forming the cone? The reason I didn't put score tape here, when I would try to, see how I, can, see how I can't control it? When I do wet glue, I can hold it better, shape it better, and then hold it as opposed to trying to, I don't have any leverage to push up underneath it to get it to adhere. Am I making, I hope I'm making sense with that, with what I just said. But when I would hold it like this, I couldn't get the lift to have the, the tape stick to the paper. Okay. So right now, see, it, you could even make it smaller, I guess. <laughs> and I even thought about making it bigger. But if you make it bigger, like you added another panel, it would be a wider pencil. But then, I mean, this you would have to run, you know, two, three times. Oh, why did I show you that? <laughs> That's for later. All right, so you take a little bit of wet glue using me and my dried up art glitter glue, it seems. Come on, did I tell you about the caddy? This is the caddy. I bought this at a, at a crop, but they do sell them. Um, I know there are a few people that make it on Etsy. I think they use one of those 3D printer type deals. Okay, let me get you back, get you guys back focused. Okay, so here, do I have glue? Oh my gosh, this thing is like, see, once it doesn't, mm, yeah, yeah, it's being pesky. See now, here now, I can, this is the, this was the most annoying part right here. Hold it there, you can stick your Teflon bone folder or, 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 the, or the pencil, go all the way in, and kind of rub it together. like so. Hope I made sense there. Let me unclog again. It seems to be clear. I don't know. No, it's not clear. Ugh. So what I do is I refill the same bottle over and over. Mm. All right, let me pause. Alrighty, back again after some glue surgery. <laughs> My fingers are like, 
<laughs> have glue all over my fingers. I had to. Oh, anyway, good good glue, but a pain in the tush. But they're all pretty much like that anyway, you know. All right, so kind of hold this open, and I'll use this fine tip nozzle. Get in here. I'm standing up and doing this with the camera above head, so it's not going to be as clean as if I was doing this without something blocking my view. And then I go like that. Nice. Oh, you know, I think this is coming together. It's 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 a much sharper edge and a crisper edge, burnishing and using the basil. See now, and just run it in here. There we go. That's it right there. Oh, it looks good. You know, normally I have a front and a back, but pretty much this is, well, okay, this is still, it's bothering me. That's the back. <laughs> Let me turn this thing upside down on the caddy, move that pin out the way. Okay, and I know that they do sell little um, charms with pins on it, but guess what? I have bought those and found that those... So instead of losing the pin, what I'm talking about is losing the pin for this. They sell like a pin with a charm and it's really pretty and I went and I got it. I even got some as gifts for my friends at Crops and then come to find out some of them rust. Some of them clog up even more and then they also bend. So I went back to the pin that came when you buy the starter kit for this thing. Alrighty, so I, used, I, I ran two sheets of paper from that same base die. And this is from that Simple Stories. Oh, I'm gonna write it in the in the um, description right there in the, I can't remember, birthday, something birthday or magical birthday. I oh, can't remember the name. And this is on thinner cardstock. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut right here and right here, because we don't need the top and we don't need the bottom. I kind of like to see how that bent so quickly. Now, why you don't want to do this in just pattern paper only, pattern paper, when you start to manipulate it a lot, has a tendency of um, cracking. So you just take a pair of sharp scissors, and my favorite sharp scissors for the last, mm, I say three years or so, Martha Stewart. Now, they had these on clearance the other day at um, Michael's, but I don't know if they have them anymore. So you have one end, and then you're gonna come back again. Fold. Right? Again. Fold. And just, why, sometimes I notice for me, if you're really, I love my Tim Holtz scissors, but I, with that serrated edge, I find myself cutting at an angle. With this one, I can cut super straight the other one I end up cutting like this I don't know so if you can cut with Tim Hall straight and sometimes his scissors also leave an edge this leaves a very clean edge yeah I'm funny that way <laughs> alrighty so we're gonna fold this one because it is pattern paper light gingerly a gingerly burnishing which you don't necessarily have to do but you know, you want to kind of train the paper, so either use your fingers or just fold. Again, this is going to be the hardest part is right here because it's so thin. There we go. Oh, I both, all what you see me pushing off is like glue when I just had to, to do that glue surgery. All right, here we go. Yay. All right, so now we're back here. Now we're gonna do, this is the order I went in, which I think kinda, yeah, it works. So this is the body. And you can see one seam is here. So I'm gonna call this the back. See that little piece right there? But we're gonna cover it, don't worry about that. So I'm gonna call this the front. So you can put it like so. And what I did, I did not use um, score tape for it. I used, um, wet glue to be able to to have a little control now don't don't drown it in wet glue let me square this off a little bit more don't drown it in wet glue just you know light application it'll hold all right let's see if this glue here is ready to behave because what you want to do and i'm doing it per panel 
I noticed I tried to do it all one time. That didn't work. So everything I have done is like trial and error, trial and error. And you just mold it to the body. Mold it to the body. There we go. Okay. Then you kind of fold this back. Oh my gosh, I have like glue everywhere. Come back, let me make sure that I'm in frame. I know guys, I have to keep touching this thing just to make sure it focuses. And I just run, you can do it either this way or on the paper, I think that this way is actually easier. And gently fold, and it'll line up. Only at the end is there gonna be a like a like a small gap. Again. Oh, now you wanna flow. See how it's flowing well now? That's actually too much glue, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. This paper is so cheery. And if you love this paper, this color, this this kind of a uh, baby blush ballet pink, this is called um, Pink Tutu. Basil Pink Tutu. Cute name, right? All righty. So I can leave it out like this. Some of them, I would clip this off and leave that open end. I kind of like it covered all the way. All righty, so this, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this little flap, glue it down. Doo, 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 doo. Oh, please tell me, I'm because I'm not even looking up, looking up here to see if I'm focused, but I feel I'm focused. Ready, and then, doo, 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 doo. so maybe my back is my side. And then just cover it up. Cute. But I find, like I said, one panel at a time gives you better control over the whole thing. Because right now it's still like this. You put all three parts on, mm -mm. It, it just didn't work. It, it didn't go straight, it wasn't holding nicely, it wasn't, the paper just was not behaving. And <laughs> we like paper to behave. <laughs> All righty. Here. Hear that, Basil? That's quality, good quality cardstock, Basil. Love it, love it. Love what I should have also told you guys before, put here. Cut all these little pieces right here because you have to cut them, cut them to get it to fold. Okay, see if you don't cut it, see what happens? It's not going to fold in, and this forms that bottom. All righty. Yep. Oh. Let's ignore that. <laughs> then we're going to fold in, fold in. Fold in, fold in, fold in. See how it all forms a nice little, nice little tapestry? Let me show you again. Fold in all the bits like that. And here now is where you're gonna pick where's your front and where's your back. So. And I'm gonna shave off just a little bit here. Don't worry, we're gonna cover it up so just to make it look cleaner. This, this is my back. So for my back, that means that I need the um, closure, the little triangular, the little, not triangular. What is this? Well, it's not octagon, but you know what I'm saying. It's late, I'm tired. <laughs> this piece cut out in 110 pound cardstock and I use the pink cardstock from Michaels. So, you're gonna fold a little tab in right there on the score line, and I'm gonna attach it. So, here is my back. I decided, I chose that this is my back. Let me stand up so I can make sure that I'm all focused so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is my back. So because this is my back, I want this to close here where the little slit is. See the slit? 
So what you're gonna do, you're gonna actually only glue to the front panel. Okay, so that's the back, this is the front, the opposite end. Take your front panel, and if I'm moving too fast, just wind the video back here for a second and look at it again. Center it. So you can take it, I've done it both, both ways, but for the sim simplicity of the video, let me just, you just wanna center it. And wet glue is perfect for this too because I have time to move it. And see now, once I put it there, everything else is open so you can stick all your goodies like your bone folder. All your goodies can go in there without no problem. Tons of candy or whatever, pencils and treats. And then you, right there. Oh, perfect, at least that went well. Alrighty, so again, I'm only sticking down this lip right here on the front. And then I chose here with the harsh seam as my back so that's why it closes that way and then this is this is my front alrighty so now we have this down now we're gonna go into you know the pencil parts <laughs> and I kind of like my pencil to look like a pencil even though I did this one in purple I know I know but I still like for the sake of the video keeping it natural so this is now six. You cut six of them for the six sides and you're gonna fold in right here on that little score line. Am I focusing? No, I'm not. See, the camera's just not behaving. It, you're gonna cut six of these pieces and you're gonna take it and it does come with on that score line. You're gonna fold it in on the score line, okay? Gosh, my fingers look awful, my nails look awful, but it is what it is. So let me go, go again. Take it here on the fold. And this is Basil Smooth cardstock. So that's probably why it's not folding <laughs> as easy as if it was thinner cardstock. Because once it's such a small area, it, it is generally not the most easiest thing to control, but it works. It'll work once we put the wet glue on it. This is another part that you're going to have to put wet glue again. Glue stick, I wouldn't use a glue stick. Um, you can, if you, if you don't, if you don't want to get the um, art glitter glue, um, Target, Michaels, Joann's sell the Scotch 3M Tacky Glue. You can buy that. That one is really good. I used to use that for years until I discovered this one. Alrighty, so let's start with the back first. Let me make sure that I am all nice and focused. Yes. And then we're gonna just play. So there, look a dab here, little dab there. Put my caddy close by. So the caddy is to prevent you from having to find the pin and re-keep closing it but I find sometimes okay there and this is made so well that it fits like perfectly you don't have to fiddle with it you don't have to figure it out it just lands perfectly on it good good engineering for the die so that's that one and I'm going to speed through this because each panel is going to be the same exact thing last one down and now the more you add on to this is the more structure it has see how we started off before and it was all loosey-goosey and then now this is also the heavier heavier weight cardstock so let's see which one do I have that's thinner by double layering it with a base cardstock and a pattern paper you make it thicker anyway yeah so both of them still have a little wiggle it is paper after all but up here is feeling nice and good. Now we have the top. And here I decided both of them are in basil. Oops. So this one is a tutu and this one is called Blackbird. I like 
both of them I like with the texture. It makes the paper stronger with the weaving. All right, so come back down here. Let me come back down, make sure that I'm focused. Now this one, you're gonna have to do again with the finger. All right, let me, <laughs> the finger, that doesn't sound good at all, does it? See this score line? This is gonna be your toughest score line. But I like to use the basil for it because the paper is rigid. It takes to the score well. It's not so flexible that I that I lose the integrity of the score line. Ooh, did I just say that? <laughs> so I don't lose the integrity of the score line. <laughs> oh, that sounded good, didn't it? Alrighty, but you know what I mean. I'm trying to focus here. There we go. All right. So we did the first one here now. The the rest of them come. That's easy. The rest of them are easy. See, then I say it, then it doesn't want to happen. There we go. And you can use the bone folder, but it's so small. I'm just using my, my fingers to do it. But I purposely use this paper to um, give it a lot of structure. And then that's your point. So now we have the point in black. And then I'm going to also do it in the pink all right so let me start down here then seeing that it's focusing here so here's pink oh, the pink seems to be operating better maybe i cut it on the grain or something because it certainly is folding much easier there we go and there we go and then now here i have a decision to make do i like and you wouldn't leave it like this because you can see this is not straight. Do I want a pink top, which is kind of cute? Or do I want the black for contrast? Hmm, like a real pencil. I, I can't tell which one. Okay, I wouldn't leave it pink. Seeing that it's a birthday and it's a girl's birthday, that's the theme in my head. That's why I had actually cut both, both colors. So you're gonna fan it out. Find your back again. So you, you know that the back is where you're gonna have this little flap here. This now you can put down all in one swoop. Glue on the outside that little skinny panel. Gosh, that was like really sloppy, but. <sighs> You're gonna just mold it on. It'll mold on real easy. See what I'm talking? Molds on real easy. Then you tuck that little piece in and you cover it. And there you go. That's the back. That's that part with the flap. Look at that. Cute, 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 cute. And there you go. Nice. I better have been focused with all of that because I would be so upset. <laughs> Alrighty, so here now we have a decision. So your pencil is done, but you want to put on a little border. So I, I had pre-cut this. I put a put my three eighths inch um, score tape on it. This goes at the bottom. Again, start at the back. Which you can tell is the back because there's a little flap. So start about, it's not going to go all the way around. So I like to give it, I, I discovered, give it a little wiggle. And just run it near the bottom. Just train it. You can open it back up just to train it along the way. Like this. To ensure a good stick. Or you can use wet glue. In this case, I don't mind using score tape for this and just one panel at a time. Don't just roll it on. You have to kind of make it take the curve. Just, yeah, there we go. And then right there. All right, that looks pretty good. Tuck, 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 and tuck the back. In the little, there we go. Nice. So there it is. 
Oh, now you want to slip out. There we go. So this is the front. And what else was I going to do? I had a little bit of, we could put a bow on it. What do you think? The bow is kind of cute, right? Alrighty, so I'm going to make another one. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to just go through it again because I want to make a standard pencil. So I'm going to speed through this. This is real pencil versus, <laughs> you know, treat box pencil. I only use cardstock here. I didn't use pattern paper. But if you wanted to keep it yellow, I would do a yellow base and then a yellow top. Everything else, though, that I do have in my little series. See? Yeah. Yeah, this, this cardstock is making the other one pucker. Every, everything else, though, does have... So for my first one, the last one is ugh, not so great, but, and here we go with the birthday. So from the first to the last, we got a whole series of pencils. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you learned how to put this together. It is easy. I know I didn't make it look that easy, or maybe I did, I did. But I, I'm thinking with the focusing and all this drama, it just didn't go as smooth as I was hoping. But this is a great project, great treat box, and um, many, many uses. Birthday, didn't stick this on yet, but birthday, Halloween, you know, fall, Christmas, whatever you want. All the time, okay? Alrighty, thanks so much for watching. Until the next video, you guys stay crafty. Bye.